Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Bagisto Laravel native mobile application. Now this particular plugin will help you in getting the experience of your Bagisto store as a mobile app which is a Flutter based app. It will help you to develop an Android or an iOS app for your Bagisto store which gives your customers more convenience to use the store. You can easily put this app on Google Store and Play Store with the real-time synchronization of your products, categories, etc. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the backend uh, configuration or the initial configuration and the rest of the workflow wherein we can set up the homepage and the, uh, for example, we'll be setting up the featured categories, banner images, notifications, carousals, carousal images, custom collections, uh, we can wave the mobile order history, etc. So I'll just be taking you through these uh, sections one by one. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be taking you to the Bagisto backend panel and we'll be logging into the Bagisto backend panel by entering the email address and the password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter. Now the very first thing that we need to do is is the initial configuration settings. So for that we navigate to configure section on the bottom left hand corner there. And here we'll be going to Mobicool section. And here we have two different uh, sections to be configured. One is the Mobicool basic configuration and the FCM push notification parameters. Now under the FCM push notification parameters we need to enter the API key choose the Android topic and the iOS topic and this API key would be used to send the FCM push notifications uh, onto the mobile devices there. Then we have the Movicool basic configuration. Here we need to enter the username and the password, set the collection page size of the mobile application, enable the random featured products in uh, home page. So if you want to have the random featured products in home page, you can choose this option as a yes. Then you can set up the allowed CMS pages on the mobile device itself. Under the more section, uh, you can uh, check the about us return policy, refund policy, or whatever uh, different uh, allowed CMS pages that you allowed from here would be available within the mobile app itself. After making these two configuration settings, you need to tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings. Then uh, you'll have one option in the left hand side panel, that's the Mobicool option, as you can see here. So you need to tap on that and this would bring up this particular section wherein you can set up the featured categories, banner images, notifications, carousals, carousal image, custom collection, order history for the mobile application itself. So under the featured categories here you can set up the featured categories that are shown at the very top of the home page there on the Bagisto Laravel native mobile application which is a flutter based application. So here you can see that we have set up the banner image, set the category name, the featured icon and the sort order for the particular featured categories as well along with the ch uh, channels as well. To add a featured category what you need to do is you need to tap here on the add featured category button on the top right hand corner and that will bring up this particular section. Here you will be able to add the featured category icon, uh, set the sort order for the featured category, choose the channel. Uh, or the channel where this would be available then uh, under the uh, featured category status you need to enable the status for the featured category and then you can choose the featured category whichever category you want to make as featured you have to select that up and after selecting that up you can tap here on the save featured category so if I go back and I tap here on the edit a button for a particular featured category that I've already created we can also delete a featured category by tapping on the delete button so if I tap here on the edit button we'll be able to see the details here for the one so here is the notification uh, image for the same uh, the sort order the channel it has been enabled and it has been set as the featured category for the fitness world there itself now after that we have the banner image under the banner image, we will be able to add multiple banners as per our own requirement and these banners would be uh, visible to the customers uh, on the mobile uh, apps homepage itself. They can scroll through these uh, banners as per their own requirement. 
and uh, the banners can be of two types one is the product type and one is the category type if the banner is of the product type then the whenever the customer taps on the particular banner he will be redirected to the respective product otherwise if it's of the category type then whenever the customer taps on the category banner there he will be redirected to the particular category there to display the particular product under the, that particular category itself so you can edit or delete any of the categories uh, any of the banner images that you've created uh, and to add a banner images what you need to do is you need to tap here in the add image button now this will bring up the banner information as you can see here you have to set the banner title uh, add the banner image set the sort order for the same choose the banner type whether it's of the product type if it's of the product type then you have to add, add the uh, product ID here otherwise if it's of the category type then you have to add the category ID here then you have to choose the channel and then you have to set the status as enabled or disabled uh, for example let's go back if I edit any of the banner images that we have added here you can see that we have set the banner title as accessories we have added the image we have set the sort order we have set the banner type as category the uh, category ID has been set the channel has been chosen and the banner status has been enabled there thereafter you can tap here on the save banner to save the banner and the banner would be visible within the uh, mobile app home page itself then we have the notifications now here you'll find the complete list of notifications that you've already created and sent out onto the mobile devices there so here you can find 10 percent of all on all products 10 percent discount custom collection of air products weekend offers each sale and much more so the notification types can be of different types like other category product or custom collection as well to add a notification what you need to do is you need to tap here on the add notification button so let's uh, do one thing let's edit one notification for example we have 10 percent off on all products let's edit this up so here we have set the notification title the notification content the notification image has been added the notification type has been chosen as category type it can be of the product type as well category other type or custom collection if it's of the custom collection then you need to choose the custom collection that you've created here on the side panel under the custom collection section uh, for example i've chosen it as category so we have to enter the category id if i choose it as product type then we have to enter the product id if it's of the other type then there's nothing to be done uh, the simple one this is a simple notification that would be sent out if it's of the custom collection then we have to enter the name of the uh, collection there for example if i enter eid the eid collection would be uh, selected here and uh, would be assigned to this particular push notification there right and then you need to tap on the same notification button to save the particular notification if you want to send the notification what you need to do is you need to tap on the push notification button to push the particular notification onto the mobile devices so for example if i go to the notifications i go to the 10 percent off on all products i edit it up this is a category type of a push notification as you can see here uh, i can tap here on the push notification and this notification would be pushed successfully for the android and the ios devices there itself then we have the carousals and the carousal images now to the carousal images let's go to the carousal images first here we'll be able to add the images for the carousals there to add an image you need to tap here on the add image button i've already added few uh, carousal images here for example this one i can choose uh, the now the carousal images uh, can be of two types one is of the product type and one is of the category type so let's edit this category type one so here you can see that the carousal image has been added the title uh, of the carousal image has been set the carousal image type is of uh, category type it can be of product type as well depending upon the option chosen for the carousal image type here you can set up the product or the category id and then you can enable or disable the carousal image status here by choosing enable or disable as per your own requirement and then you need to tap here on the save image button now this was how to create the carousal images now if i go to the carousals here we'll be able to create multiple type of carousals that will be visible on the home page there now uh, here you can see that 
the carousel types are top of food featured product type image type and much more and now uh, to add a carousel you can tap here on the add carousel button at the top right hand corner so if I tap here on the add carousel we'll be able to set the title of the carousel choose the type whether it's of the image type or the product type featured product top of food product if I choose featured product then the featured product carousel would be created otherwise top of food product uh, if selected then the top of food products would be uh, carousel would be created there otherwise if it's of the image type then the image type carousel would be created uh, and if I choose it as product type then the product type carousel would be created there uh, itself now if I go to the carousels here and I edit any one of the carousels for example we have new offers here I can tap here on the edit button now after we have saved the carousel we can assign the products as well for example if I tap here on the assign okay not allowed for the featured and the talk offered okay so basically the uh, products or the image uh, types can be done for the product type and the image type itself so if i have the image type i can assign type on the assign option then i can assign the carousel images that we had created here under the carousel image and i can assign them to this particular uh, particular carousel there by choosing the particular option itself right uh, then if I choose the other one uh, that's the uh, product type if I tap here on the assign button then we can assign the products to this particular carousel by selecting the products as per our own requirement there right so that's how we can create the carousels uh, by uh, choosing the type as top of food featured product type and the image type for the image type we can choose the carousel images that we have created here under the carousel image section for the featured uh, for the product type we can select the products uh, or we can assign the products to the carousel by tapping here on the assign button then we have the custom collection here you can create a custom collection as per your own requirement there and uh, the type can be of uh, product ids you can choose product attributes you can choose latest product count or the product ids so for example if you want to add a collection let's uh, add a collection here uh, for that you need to tap here on the add collection button and that will bring up the add collection section as you can see so here you have to give the collection name uh, for example landscape or the horizon you can set the status as enabled or disabled then you have the choose product collection within this custom collection so it can be of uh, like a product name then you need to enter that product name that would be auto completed and you have to select that product name the custom collection be of the can be of the latest product count then you have to set the latest product count uh, that would be there within this particular custom collection or product attributes then you can choose the product attributes choose the price from and price to range or uh, start typing in the brand or manufacturer there or you can use the SKU enter the SKU there and create a custom collection thereafter uh, as per your own requirement so you can choose the product collection between uh, product name latest product count product attributes as per your own requirement there and the particular uh, custom collection would be created as you can see here so here we have the type as product ids product attributes latest product count and the product ids there lastly we have the order history here so whichever orders that you have placed through the mobile devices all of those uh, would be visible here to the admin and the admin can uh, view the particular orders that have been placed through the mobile devices and from here he can view the uh, order details by tapping on the view button under the actions column and here he can view the payment uh, shipping information the products ordered by the customer and much more right so yes that was much about the Bagasto Laravel native mobile app backend configuration and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow there for creating the featured categories, banner images, notifications, carousels, carousel images, custom collection and how to use the Mobicool order history for the orders that have been placed through the mobile devices there. Apart from that we also showed you the initial configuration settings uh, for the Bagasto Laravel native mobile app which is a flutter based app there. So I hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the workflow the same. If you still have any questions, queries, or requirements, then you can anytime get back to us at 
support at the rate of bagisto.com or you can raise a ticket at bagisto.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.